up at 6 in the morning. Okay, so <laughs> I got my stockings. I need to put my dressing gown on. Do I need to put this on now? I guess I should. Let me put this up here so that you guys can see me properly. Okay. Okay. And then I have these sexy stockings. This isn't made for big legs like mine. It's gonna stop my circulation, never mind promote it. Do I leave my toes out like this or? Yes, okay. Dear God, what am I doing? There's no back, there's no front. It's just a big diaper. Okay, she's ready. She's ready to do the craziest thing she's ever done. I'm so anxious. Remember, we just want this. So this might be a little bit too much information for you guys, but I'd like to the nurse. Um, I ate something yesterday and my belly's a little bit, you know, and she's like, oh, I'm sure it's just the butterflies. I'm like, no, this is not butterfly. <laughs> she just giggled and laughed and I'm like, say something, was it a giggle or a laugh? Because I don't want to freaking mess myself during surgery. Do you know how embarrassing that would be? Oh my god. You need to give me some pepto or something to solidify whatever's going on in my belly. Goodbye, everyone. I love you. <laughs> and I love my boy so, so much. And I'm crying. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, nose. So I just got out of surgery and my face is on fire. My nose to be is precise. Like, especially my right side. My right side is on full force fire. My rib is hurting me. Uh, uh, I don't want to cough. Uh, 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 uh. I can't cough. I'm so scared. I'm not going to lie. This is a completely different shape to my nose. And I am mortified beyond belief. I'm actually, oh, you have no idea. I literally wanted to cry just a second ago. I need some painkillers, where's the painkillers at? But yeah, I'm gonna go because this is hurting me too much. I can't talk. Still. And I need to get these things out of my hand because it flipping hurts too. What the freaking hell have I done? Jesus. I don't know how people go through this over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah, give me the morphine, give me the morphine. Give me those painkillers. I feel a little bit sleepy. It still hurts a lot. My ribs are hurting, and because of the angle that I'm laying down at, it feels like it's put pressure. Ah, oh, that really hurts, man. It's not unbearable, but. It hurts. Oh my god, you're looking a bit crooked as well. <gasps> oh. I'm scared. Good? I think so. Is my nose crooked? I'm gonna go to sleep. Because that's the right thing to do right now. Instead of overthinking and thinking, what the hell did you just do? Okay, good night, guys. I love you lot. Bye bye bye. That's my kisses from now on. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. This is my, I guess, breakfast. Lunch, dinner, and dessert. I'm so hungry. You have no idea. Okay, let's try this out. It actually tastes nice, you know? Maybe because I'm really hungry, I don't know. But I need to move this forward because my ribs are killing me. Oh, much better. Okay, let's see how this works out.
I need a straw because this isn't working for me. Okay, I'm gonna go because this is making me hot. <sighs> Shit, don't put the air conditioner on, so I'm freaking boiling and it's giving me anxiety trying to keep this hold up. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh my god, I can feel my nose throbbing. Can you hear it? It's making noise. This is a problem with me. I'm so nosy. I want to see what's going on. I so badly want to sniffle up. It's very, very frustrating. Second round of drugs, antibiotics, painkillers. Second round of food. This soup is so good. I got some chicken and a pepper and tomato in there. Some rice in there. I have no idea what that is. And a yogurt. My ribs are bloody hurting. Hey guys, <coughs> it is now quarter past five. And I got out at half past 12 from my surgery. I have no idea what time I went in. It's really gonna bug me. And clearly I was still very delirious when it comes to timing because I don't know where I got half past 12 from. It must have been like two or three hours. Cause when I looked at the time when he came in, yeah, it must have been about two or three hours. I think three hours. Oh, that hurt. Oh, why did I move my eyebrows? Whoa, that hurt. No facial expressions. But I swear to God, I'm smiling on the inside. It feels so weird stopping yourself from smiling and being your normal self. I promise you, I'm not visible. I'm smiling on the inside. I'm feeling a bit okay. My ribs are killing me more than anything, if I'm completely honest. I've got a bit of a headache. I'm now bleeding. But when I move, I can't get comfortable because of my ribs. And it's driving me nuts. I feel like if I didn't get the rib cartilage then i would be fine with the nose it wouldn't be so bad but yeah it's been a wonderful experience huh when i was in the room i was like oh my god what am i doing the lady was like are you okay you excited i'm like no what am i doing she's like it's too late now and then next thing you know i was ko <sighs> My biggest fear was that I wake up during surgery. That's one of my biggest fears. This is my nose on the side. I'm currently scared and mortified, but apparently it will drop because I made clear, I was like, I do not want a piggy nose. I really, really don't want a piggy nose. So please do not do that to me. Like, no, no, no. It might look like that in the beginning, but it will drop down. I'm like, it better drop down. I'm in a little bit of a predicament because I want to drink water so I can flush out my system. But um, I've been needed to pee loads. And every time I need to get up, it hurts. I saw my surgeon and I saw my pictures, guys. I was like, hang on, which one's mine and which one's... I was a little bit confused. It's not too dissimilar. And from the side, it's not too dissimilar at all. So I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. From what the tabletop pictures look like what i'm gonna look like doesn't necessarily mean i'm gonna look like the tabletop pictures but it does look super cute as you guys can see it is bleeding now so i've got a bit of a headache and my rib as always is driving me nuts and my jaw actually hurts what's going on i'm gonna go to sleep before i start feeling more pain <laughs> good night guys it is now eight minutes to no sorry five to eight my back is so sore from sitting and laying in the same position i feel like every time i come in here i'm like oh my god i'm so sore the rib is causing a hindrance basically <laughs> everything would be much easier if i didn't have to get the rib removed rib piece of the rib that's so dramatic i'm gonna try and sleep now i've only slept once since the operation and not for a very long time at all so hopefully i sleep the night through now to try and lay back and get my back there it's going to be a problem okay there we go there we go i'm actually taking the first time alive i was literally just sitting up i'm back down and look they brought more food i could cry god damn you let's do this these are my ice packs uh, oh there we go let's see what's for dinner soup again i can eat soup all day long as long as it tastes good i've got this and Thank you. Mm -hmm. I also I called the clinic lady. She come here and she's currently 
midnight and uh, you can see the breeze in coming along nicely oh i've got an hour to go until my um painkillers my rib is killing me the pain is radiated all across my abdomen and it hurts my nose is on fire and i can feel here oh it's hurting so much Ooh, goodness gracious me what have i done i'm gonna try and get some sleep again problem is they're coming in every two hours to give me ice so i fall to sleep and then they wake me up and i'm not the type of person that can be in and out of sleep once i get woken up it's gonna take me a long while to fall back to sleep so i guess the next time that i'll be able to go to sleep is the next time that i get my painkillers but yeah oh, i feel it all here really really not fun but this feels nothing in comparison to the rib if i just had this i'd be fine the rib oh my gosh because you have to sit up it's like just yeah it's not fun oh my god my top lip is so far from my nose you ready yeah Thank you. You're welcome. It is now half past six. I barely slept. It's great. You know when your body's so tired about your mind just doesn't switch off. I'm having breakfast, cheese, cucumber, tomato, cheese, jams, olives, an egg. I'm actually warm and a cup of tea. Oh, pain wise. Oh my god. Listen, Linda, it's so painful. It's even more painful today. Bruising has started to happen. As you guys can see. Great, fun times. <gasps> Yay. I got hold today at some point. I don't know when, but we shall see. Hi guys, I haven't updated you. The pain has been incredibly painting for and i am questioning why i even done this in the first place to be honest no better so hopefully tomorrow new day and whatnot i feel a lot better. Top lip is crazy. I look like it's a glitch, literally. This is the only saving grace I have right now. But the minute get, this gets taken off, I'm like, what has I done? What have I done? Why have I done this to myself? Because my lip has dropped all the way down here. You can kind of see this, this space. And it's not moving. It's not anything. It's like dead. So when I eat, I get loads of food stuck up there. It's very irritating. I'm going to get some sleep. Just so I would update you guys. Good night. I've had this on for 10 minutes now. And... Oh my goodness me. My face is swollen. All right here. I would take this off to show you guys. But right now it's just too much work. This is my, my little contraption that I made. I just put it on like that. And there we go. There's water in this glove so that it holds it up. And I don't have to worry. I just want someone to do my hair, if I'm honest. But I have no one to do my hair, so I'm stuck like this. If my nose comes out and turns out to be horrible, it is what it is. I couldn't put myself through this again. My face has gone way more swollen. I look like the Grinch. You know what? I'm just going to show you this craziness because it's ridiculous. Oh my god. What have I done? Pain, I'd say it's probably about a seven, eight. It depends. I just take painkillers, so I have no idea. Okay, so at this point, I was not getting any sleep at all. I was exhausted, but I was also frustrated because my hair was a mess <laughs> longer than it's ever been a mess for and it was just driving me insane so i just had to do what i had to do and just get my hair done and stay tuned for part two because there is going to be a part two i've documented everything exactly the way that i was feeling at that time i have given birth naturally twice <laughs> and when i mean natural i mean 
no gas, no nothing, that kind of natural. So I have a very high pain threshold. And when I say it's painful, it's because it really is painful. Again, I would just like to stipulate that this is not me promoting plastic surgery. I'm just sharing my experience with it, with you guys.